Hi there, my name's Phil Binks. I'm from Helpful Phil. And today I want to talk to you about a new software or a software that's been around for a little while. But if you're in the video editing world and you're comfortable with recording yourself on video, it's probably something that you should be looking at. And even if you're not comfortable at recording yourself on video, then you should be looking this way anyway, because I'm sure that this is the way of the future. The product I want to talk to you about is Loom. Now, Loom is a video recording software. It is built primarily to enable you to in embed your videos into your emails. The premise, of course, is that videos are more engaging than text. And so this is the idea and it's great if you want to use it for screen sharing to provide technical help, maybe on a software product um, or or even to use the video embedded into websites. So that's another great reason why you might record a Loom video. So the Loom videos get stored in your own personal portal. You manage those videos and you provide sharing links to people. And as I say, you can uh, provide a, a link to embed it into a website, for instance. But primarily it's sold as an email uh, edition. Okay. So today during this tutorial, I'll show you what it looks like to replay a Loom video from an email. And I'll also show you what a Loom looks like once it's on a website and replay it from there as well. I'll go through all of the features, some of the restrictions between the free and the paid versions, and I'll show you ways to improve the video quality. Loom is available in two different formats. One is a Chrome extension, and the other is a desktop app for both Mac or PC. There's actually also an iOS version, but I won't be showing that today. I'm going to start with the Chrome extension and show you that, and then we'll move on to the app as well. The first thing we need to do is download Loom for Chrome from the uh, Chrome Web Store. Once you've done that, you see over here, just around my cursor, just above the cursor, there is the Loom icon. So if you click that, that takes you straight into your account, so long as you're signed in. And it now gives me some information and, and presents me with a screen. So you can see me at the bottom there. Firstly, the picture here. So let me just drag this up. So you can just drag it over with your cursor. And I'm on the small round um, version of the inset there. I can go to a larger inset by clicking the button and an even bigger one like so. So let me go to the middle sized one because that's probably a little bit nicer. We can also see that Loom has given me a kind of a default background as they call it and this background can be changed and we've also got an animation. This is purely for the winter time, I'm sure, but it does show what Loom can do. And this snow that's falling, there's a button just down the bottom here that I could use to turn off that snow. So if I click it, the snow has stopped falling. We get within the default situation, uh, the ability to simply add text. So I can double click and type anything I want. I could do the same below here. So it gives you just a, essentially what looks like a single slide that I could then talk about if I was leaving a video message for somebody. Also within the app, we have the ability to change the background. So here we've got a background which is highlighted just here. But if I wanted a different background, maybe this one, then you can see it changes immediately or that one. I'll go back to this one and there's a variety of different backgrounds that are included with the software. There's also simple background colors. So I could choose just a normal gray screen or any of the colors, the solid color blocks to have behind me if I wanted to. Let's go back to this one first. 
So you can see the background is, is kind of nicely creative and we've got the ability to change the size of the video overlay. Um, the text layout here as well, you can uh, change the different layouts, but they are preset text layouts. Finally, there's some additional templates that they include, which um, for instance, this one here, and I, I could then drag myself to be into the middle of that and just present using that template. So that might look quite good for you if that's something you want to do. Or simply choose a different background so I can go back to it that way if I want to. So that gives you some of the creative abilities. Let's have a look at some of the settings. So in the top here, we can record both the screen and the camera. So I can select that I want to record a full desktop if I, if I needed to, to show a, um, an application, for instance. Uh, so I've got the screen and the camera. I can just do the screen without a picture of myself at all. And then I'd have an inset or I could even turn that off and clear that. Or I could just have the camera only. In terms of the uh, screen, you can record the full desktop or in the paid versions, you can drill down to particular windows of an application. But in the free version, it would be full desktop only. And you can choose which screen of several screens that you might have connected to your computer. OK, I've got the ability to go to a current tab if I wanted to as well. In terms of recording hardware, you have the selection box to choose your specific microphone as you require. If you have a, an external microphone plugged in, then it will see any of those external microphones that you might want to choose to record with. As for video and cameras, Obviously, it picks up the built in camera, but the great thing is that you can choose a third party connected camera. So you might have a, a different webcam connected in or indeed you can use a virtual camera such as those from Ecamm Live, which is the same as I am using here right now and talking to you. Other than that, we've got some advanced options. You can flip the camera. Let me just flip that from one side to the other. Um, you can change the control menus, have a recording countdown, which is quite nice. And in the trial versions, there's a five minute limit. So you'd then simply hit record or start recording and there'd be a timer comes up on the screen, counting down from five to one and then you start recording. That's enough of showing you how that works. Let's go to the portal and show you what your recordings look like in your Loom portal. So this is my personal library and you can see here that I've got a number of videos. I can look at them in, uh, in grid view or in list view if I wanted to. You can select them here. And from that selection, you can then move them to another folder, star them, rename them, duplicate them or download or even delete them. So that's all available. And this is running the free version of the software. If I wanted to share this, I would simply go to the bottom right of any video and click on the copy link button. And that allows me to then paste that link anywhere into an email. You can create new folders or you can record a new loom in the bottom left hand corner of the screen here. If you hit new video, you can record a video or upload a video, but then that is only available with the uh, loom business plan or above. The business plan is the one above the free plan. Finally, if you want to embed the video into a website or see more features, you need to highlight the video and click it. This will load it into Loom's Chrome player. You, it will play in the background without any sound. Um, but what you then do is you go to the share button at the top and 
This will allow you to share it with specific people, so names or email addresses, or on social media, there's direct link straight into Facebook, for instance, Gmail or LinkedIn, and you get the embed code as well. So you can embed it directly onto your website. So what we'll do is we'll copy this embed code and I'll put it on a web page and let you see what it looks like embedded in a web page. So you've got that and finally you've got the ability as you see here to write a title for your video and you can write some descriptive text underneath as well. So it's all very useful. There's a recording date and a variety of different features within this system. So you can trim your video. Um, calls to actions are for business plans only and you can uh, have a thumbnail but uh, that's a business plan uh, feature as well. So with the desktop application running you can see that we have a control window which launches itself immediately as soon as you click on the icon to launch the desktop application from the top of the screen. You've also then at the bottom got your overlay window for your inset and the recording controls, pausing, starting and stopping and restarting on the left hand side. You can also draw on your video if you want to, but that's a part of the business plan options. So let's go back over to the window for the controls. Here we can choose whether we're going to record the screen and the camera or the uh, screen only or the camera only. If you want to record more than a full screen, you can change desktop. So if you've got two computer screens, you can choose one or the other. But if you want to record a specific application, that's part of the business plan. You can also create a recording canvas, which is going back to that being creative and enabling you to change the background color, for instance, or choose one of the background canvases. And indeed, as I've said, turning on or off the snowflake feature for your video. In terms of the overlay, then you have if you roll over the bottom here, you've got the ability to have a small or a large overlay. If I go to the next one, that will fill the screen with my picture, which we really don't want that to be happening, do we? Um, so let's go back to a round one. And if we go back here, if I click on this one, it gives you just the still picture. And if I go to that one, it lets you put a nice border for instance so there's some quite nice fun type things that the software does allow you to do so i could start the recording clicking here and you can move this to any part of the screen you like so here we have an example web page showing an embedded loom video so you get a title of your video the title of the video stored in your loom portal um, you get a variety of comments and the ability to share it elsewhere or watch it in Loom's own website as well. Um, you get duration of how long the video was, how many people have watched it. So that's good little information. And you get the play button. Um, so that, remember, this is an embedded video into a web page. If I then wanted to play it, I would have to manually click on the play button. So let's just do that. Hi guys, I basically will be promoting Loom in my job. So you can hear that quite easily going on in the background. I can then roll over it and you'll see that I've got a variety of controls. I've got a pause button, a forward and back volume control, like buttons, uh, playback control controllers so that gives me the speed essentially uh, and then I can toggle it as a picture in picture within the web page itself or I can make it go full screen so those are some really quite nice uh, features for the player itself okay so that concludes what I wanted to show you. Please let me know in the comments if there's any questions you have about Loom. I'll be showing in another video how you can enhance your Loom 
recordings by using a virtual camera such as Ecamm Live. I wish you all the best and look forward to seeing you in the next videos.